Hi Gemini, my name is Tiana and welcome to my channel Inspired by Ease. All right, Gemini, we're just going to jump right in. I just hope that you are safe, well, and peaceful. Okay? Um, because romantic love. Wow. Gemini. Okay, so just so you know, uh, even though it probably says in the title, that this is um, the theme for... April. I'm not going to do weekly videos. This is a month video. So yeah, this is your theme for the month of April. Romantic love. It's so, yeah, this is great energy. Whether it is like physical romance or you just feeling loved up by the universe, hey, it's all great, right? The frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with the reflection of a conscious lover. Hey, we all, we all want a conscious lover. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So let's see what else we have, Gemini. I'm really digging this energy. All right. You, for your animal cards, to describe this uh, story, you got Nightingale. So obviously this, whatever it is, whoever it is, is making you feel very vocal and is just wanting, you're just wanting to shout it from the rooftops and you're just so happy. And what exactly are you wanting to shout from the rooftops? Who, your authentic truth, baby. And this is, or, you know, whoever or whatever this is, is actually making you feel more integrated, more whole, more of who you are. You just feel so comfortable around this person um, that you actually get to shine who you really are and feel accepted. So <laughs> this is just, this is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, you might be getting more vocal. You might be a singer. You might be a, a speaker. Uh, you might be a even writer, poetry. Uh, I have a feeling that this connection or whatever it is, is actually going to um, boost up your creativity. Um, and see how this egg is just totally enveloped in all of this like really nice, soft, comfy, um, you know, whatever it is, straw or hay. Um, I think that's how this person makes you feel just like uh, very, very, very cozy. So yeah, Gemini, I think your, your heart's desire is finally being granted. This is amazing. And lastly, as the animal cards go, we have the bat, which means a total ending, shut the door to the past, to old patterns, um, a new dawn is rising. So this is all about completions. Um, and maybe this has happened after you've done a lot of shadow work, internal work, healing uh, from the past crying a lot and now uh now you're feeling this total upliftment and elation and burst of energy and creativity uh, because this is finally over whatever this represents the 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 air of darkness is is gone it's past and what an interesting time to be manifesting romantic love <laughs> Uh, very interesting, um, but I have I have a feeling that that that's that's going to be happening a lot um, because it's giving rise to the, our loneliness epidemic, and so people are are becoming more friendly, more open um, to to possibilities. So yeah, let's see what the fairies have to say about about this. This is ooh amazing uh the little goblin guy kind of popped out and he's all about um 
you know, he's saying whatever fears you have or insecurities. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I've been talking a lot today. Uh, yeah, whatever insecurities or fears you have, they aren't real. They're valid, but they aren't real, so you can just let it go. So if you're experiencing anything like that, um, just know that it's just like a, a little mouse that's projecting in a shadow that looks like a great big monster, but it's really just a little mouse. Um, or a jacket on a coat rack. Uh, you know, those kinds of things, um, but really all is well. So if that applies to you, totally take it. It's all is well. So yes, let's see what the fairies have to say about, about the situation. But I mean, looks like you're feeling absolutely fabulous. Uh, and that people... I feel like people, not just one significant person, but people are seeing the real you, loving the real you, uh, connecting to the real you, understand you, hear you, feel you. You know, it's total intimacy with the real authentic you. All right, what do we got? got the master maker he of the fiery sword the bright mother okay i can work with that all right he of the fiery sword so i think if this is a partnership and if you aren't you know take it how how it lands for you but this whatever it is whatever this connection is is going to challenge you in the most wonderful ways not one of those like really horrible toxic painful uh relationships that are challenging but making you excellent just like how a great coach does i can i can feel it so um mm, this is just you are you are launching into the sky like a rocket these these connections or this partnership or whatever it is it's going to satiate you in a way where you want more and you want to be more and it inspires you to be more. That's kind of more of the feeling. This this person or these people or the situation makes you come alive inside and makes you want to be more and makes you and is going to be a key part actually of your journey to being absolutely the expert in your field no matter what it is it they are totally going to be you know the the people in the background that uh that make you who you are um it's kind of it's kind of like the saying behind every great man is like an even more amazing woman you know um and so it could be a role reversal as well like if you're a woman watching this um so take it how it flies but i yeah there's something about like setting your mind on on fire in a really wonderful way <laughs> uh and something that's really grounding but also uh very stimulating and fun and engaging but it's propelling you uh in the in the most wonderful ways it's propelling you towards your greatness uh towards success towards everything that you've been dreaming of um and if you have been struggling with fear or doubt or insecurities you know he's pointing to your head gemini uh pay attention to what you're thinking and what you're feeling um i have a feeling that you know if this is like a new relationship and if you start overthinking things you're the only one that's overthinking things like they are just kind of like over the moon like just as you are with them so um 
There, yeah, there's something, it's always something with your mind. Uh, Gemini, you're just a brilliant person. So overthinking, there might be an issue with overthinking things. And it's all about really feeling things. So, and this is a master maker number, which means that this is a very co-creative it's going to be a very co-creative collaborative experience it's the universe and groups of people working with you towards your dreams which is meaning that you are attracting people that are going to be very synergistic and synchronistic to helping you manifest what your dreams are and i think that this person or people, whatever you've been lacking, if it's been, you know, with Gemini's, I would say a sense of feeling grounded. And she has these horns, which remind me of Taurus, which is an earth energy. So I feel that um, this person or these group of people or environment or whatever it is, is helping to ground you in a way so you can properly uh, lift off <laughs> and um, be the greatest that you can be um, while having a strong foundation. Yeah, that's all. That's it. Okay, so now we have the heat of a fiery sword. So this is uh, hitting the nail on the head, hitting the bullseye. Um, it's also, again, with the bat, the dawn of a new day. Um, and I just, I just heard uh, torpedoing at the speed of light. Like, things are moving so fast and uh, the energy is, not necessarily the relationship, but the energy is so high vibe and so high flying that it's almost like unlimitless. You are starting to feel unlimitless with everything that you can do, um, which is a really, really great feeling. And also, like I was saying, uh, with you're starting to feel more grounded, we have the number four in the corner there. Um, so this means that everything of your 3D reality is steady, solid, secure, safe, comfortable, all of it is all taken care of. And so there's going to be, for some of you, new levels of, of safety, if that's been an issue for you, of you feeling like you're in homeostasis and relaxed in terms emotionally, physically, financially, spiritually, all of that, it's all being taken care of. Um, and I'm now seeing this as you, you're so freaking bright that everything behind you is like nothingness. It's just black. All we can see is you, Gemini, of how brightly you are shining because of all of this amazing, beautiful energy of you feeling like you are accepted and seen and understood for the real, authentic, genuine you. And you get to express that in a way that is going to be received really well. So this romantic love energy is really uh, going to be a springboard for you to really start to feel a lot more comfortable in yourself and to follow your passions and to be received by the world in a really beautiful way. Lastly, we have the Bright Mother. And so uh, she offers just unlimitless abundance and she is completely uh, comfortable in her body. And is she a size two? No, but she freaking loves her body. Um, so this has a lot of divine feminine now that I think about it. And so whether you are man or female, you are, uh, starting to 
just feel really comfortable with yourself. And when you start to feel more comfortable with yourself and you start expressing your authentic self, um, amazing things start to happen. And uh, I think whatever this is, and it could be multiple things. I mean, I really, I really think that uh, it's not just a, uh, it's not just a romantic relationship. It's uh, friends, money, you know, just everything um, is starting to flood in towards you. And if it hasn't yet, it's on its way. You better believe it. So with, uh, let me do it this way. So we we have um, beginning to end, A to Z. All of your needs are being met. Everything is just uh, an environment of well-being. And then this also denotes, you know, completions again from uh this crescent moon to the full moon so um and also you know it might also denote this really nice flow this back and forth i actually want to see if there's one more fairy card but yeah you're starting to just really get in the flow get your um get your groove on Oh my god, this is perfect. The maiden. But uh, to finish my thought, uh, you are just starting to really get into your your flow and your power and your groove. Um, and things are just happening. Um, really, it's just really delicious energy. And sure, there are bumps and hiccups along the way. Sure. But you're, uh, you know, you're this bright, shining light. You are an absolute powerhouse, Gemini. You truly, truly are. And inside, when you're being this powerhouse of energy, Gemini, inside, behind it, is this softness and this comfort and the security and safety. So you've been building this foundation and building your authenticity, you know, you're getting your groove and things are really starting to take hold and now things are really starting to flood into your experience. And so with the maiden, just absolute beautiful new beginnings with a, just a completely clear slate this is the ultimate gift, uh, ultimate new beginning, clean slate, like I said. And the maiden has no fear. She's a baby. She's a sweet, sweet little baby and a fairy baby nonetheless. And so she, there, she has not been tainted with any fear, doubt, insecurity, limitations, whatever. And this is the most um this is like the luckiest card you could ever get for any kind of relationship or new endeavor you might also be starting a new business uh this is april is going to be a time of amazing new beginnings on many many different levels and you are um you are primed for the maximum amount of success, love, you know, you name it. So this is just, this is just wonderful. And just can tap, tap into that pure childlike essence within you. Um, because that is where it's going to all kind of pour out from you from, uh, your, your creativity, your ideas, and have that mindset of, of you just being limitless and having kind of that innocent childlike not naive innocent childlike this comes from a great place of power and authority but in a very playful sweet charming way uh that you are absolutely unlimited gemini um i am 
going to get one last card actually but from a different deck of just advice so what is spirit's advice for gemini for the week of april peace all of this all of this is going to bring you peace uh this is not uh if it's a new job if it's a new business it is not going to be or even a new relationship but um i'm thinking more in terms of business right now this is not the type of job or business where your life is going to get more and more hectic. This is going to be a business that supports you and enables you to be more of who you are. And so that should be your chief uh, priority. And the people in your life are only going to enhance you they're only going to uh aid in your ease and peace and joy and if it doesn't then it's not for you so peace is going to be your new default gemini uh, i hope that this was very helpful and insightful um and wishing you the absolute best for the month of april know that you are never alone you are so, so loved and always be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Take care. Big kiss. Bye.